it is Monday morning. This is my last full day before book tour. My first book signing is in LA tomorrow, but I have to leave my place at like three to go to the signing and then I'm signing all day. I'm do doing that like all night. So this is my last day to get things done basically. So I am going to my knee doctor right now and then I have one more video to film and like four videos to edit. Um, I also have a couple things I need to do around the house to make Matt's life easier while I'm gone because he's dealing with the dog the whole time I'm gone. I say deal when I say dealing with, it's not a negative thing, like, but he's dealing with the dog, but he's ha having fun with the dog. I feel like dealing with is a negative term, but it's not negative. We love our doggy. I love my doggy. I've cuddled him all morning long. I have a little bit of my voice back today, which is great. Probably won't have it by the end of the day. I had a cough attack this morning, which was fantastic. Um, I forgot to take my medicine, so hopefully taking it a few, uh, few hours late is not gonna mess up my whole routine. I'm gonna put my camera down because I'm merging onto the freeway, which looks very crowded right now. <laughs> While I was getting my knees done, I got a call from Matt saying the dog knocked over a glass jar of peanut butter and then started eating the glass. So he's, I got the name of an emergency vet from my vet and he's taking the dog over there right now and my knee doctor just stabbed me a bunch with the needle and I was like, get out. So I'm currently on my way to an emergency vet. I think Matt's gonna beat me there by my five minutes. I will get there in 12 minutes. I am stressing out. He's gonna be fine, he'll be fine. <sighs> but he did eat some glass. Matt said his mouth is bleeding. He's not crying, but his mouth is bleeding. So I'm stressing, but I, that's an update. There is unnecessary traffic. People, you're going 55 and there's no one in front of you. Move your asses. My dog needs me. Look at this muffin. What did you do, muffin? What did you do? What did you do, you stupid little puppy? I love you. All right, let's go home. Come on, we gotta go home now. Get in your crate. Get in your crate. Get in your crate. No. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That's what happens when you eat glass, numb nut. All right, let's go. Mommy's gonna get in the car. Stay. All right. So apparently we had. Uh, a jar of peanut butter outside. Give him a little peanut butter every now and then. Um, and it was glass, and it was on a table that he can't get to. Like he can, he can't get anything on the table, but he can jump and hit the table. So he apparently jumped up. Matt had walked into the kitchen, and he only does bad things when we're not there because he knows he's not supposed to do them, but he does them when we're not around. So when Matt walked into the kitchen, apparently Blaze jumped onto the table and knocked the glass jar of peanut butter off the table. Matt heard it, ran outside. He says that no more than 10 seconds was he alone with this broken glass, but Blaze was trying to lick all the peanut butter off the floor and the jar and stuff, and Matt pulled two massive chunks of glass out from his mouth, like that were wedged in between his teeth. So he pulled out two huge things of glass. He's bleeding, there's blood all over Matt's pants. And then, Oh, the vet said he seems fine. Those wounds will heal. I think dog's mouths heal fast. But just in case he ingested any, uh, I, they gave me some medicine that'll coat his stomach. And then, man, I thought we were done with medicine. I thought yesterday was our last day of medicine for this dude. But now we have to do five more days of this. Well, Matt does, because I'm going on book tour starting tomorrow. So he gets half a tablet three times a day in between meals. And that'll coat it. And if he starts having diarrhea, bloody stool, or throwing up, or doesn't want to eat, which would be a huge deal for him because this dude loves to eat anything uh, to take him back in because that means he's ingested uh, some shards or there's an infection in his mouth that makes him not want to eat anything. So I keep an eye on him. But other than that, they said he should be fine. There's no other wounds that they can tell. He seems happy because he's a happy dog. Um, so it's okay. And we just got to keep an eye on him. But Matt is like shook. He is shooketh. And um, like, he's like, oh my God, I broke the dog. He didn't break it. Like, if I'm just playing to him, dogs will get into anything and everything and they will have, I was like, this, this will probably not be our, our last trip to the emergency room. Dogs, like I, I had a Rottweiler once that just jumped through a glass window because she wanted inside. 
and so she jumped through a glass window and had to be, get stitches on her paws. Like, dogs do things, yeah, especially puppies, because they haven't learned boundaries yet. Um, so, this little guy, he's, an, he's gonna be an issue. He's an issue. But nothing we can't handle. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? We can handle anything. He is such a good car dog. He literally just goes to sleep. What in the world? He is me. All right, it's way later in the day. I went and saw like five houses with my realtor. I really liked one. I didn't quite like the location. It was pretty like far out from anything. And I like being like within half a mile from a grocery store. That's just how I've grown up. I know some of you are probably like, well, half a mile, why in the world? I live 10 miles from a grocery store. It's how I grew up. Now this is kind of what I'm used to. But it was a nice house. Um, I didn't like all of them. I saw five. I liked two, didn't like three. One was okay, I guess. I don't know. It was a weird thing. I'm gonna show them to Matt later. But now I have to film one more video and then I'm done filming. I leave, my book tour starts tomorrow, but it's in LA. And then I leave at like 5 a.m. Wednesday morning. So this basically is my last day to do stuff. So I'm filming now, it's 9 p.m. My dog just went down for the night. He's doing better by the way, he seems totally fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna film some stuff. <coughs> and then edit a bunch. Can you say good morning world? Good morning, world. Good morning. Uh, I didn't vlog a lot yesterday, but that was it for this vlog. Um, I am gonna be vlogging every day on book tour. I'm going by myself. I will be by myself the entire time, except when I'm in New York. I've got some friends in there in New York. But, and I have no time to hang out with anyone, but like I don't have anyone traveling with me. So basically I'll be talking to you guys the entire time. I'll be on social media a lot. So you'll be getting a lot of vlogs, a lot of tweets, a lot of Instagrams, a lot of Snapchats, a lot of Insta stories. A lot of Facebook posts, a lot of everything for me. So watch out, world. I'm going on tour. Book tour. Anyway, that's it for today. I love you guys so much. My dog seems to be doing great. Um, I gave him a little coating. Uh, not coating, like, the, like, I gave him some coating. Like, it's to coat his stomach medicine. He seems to be doing great. I don't think he ingested any glass other than maybe tiny, tiny, tiny bits that aren't hurting him. Dog's stomachs are stronger than humans. But, yeah, I think Matt was more trauma. I'm gonna sign off. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you later. I'll see some of you today in LA for my book tour, and then Atlanta, and then in New York, and then Boston, and Cincinnati, and Chicago, and San Francisco, and VidCon. What's up? And the Anaheim show. I'm all over the place this month. Sorry, bub. I'm not gonna be able to hang out with you that much. No, I'll take you to VidCon. I can't. I wish I could. Love you guys. Bye.